What do you make of the announcement by the President Juan Manuel Santos to formalize Colombia's entry to NATO? How would that play out with a new president? Oh, I think it's uh, very sad news. Um, I remember expressing uh, my discomfort with the fact at the time when I was foreign minister uh, to uh, my colleague, uh, Maria Angel Holguin, who announced that they were observers of NATO. Colombia had become an observer state of NATO. I, I, I uh, I expressed my discomfort with, with that uh, decision. And now that they've become full members, now that Colombia's become full member uh, of NATO, I think it's, it's very bad news. I mean, the idea was to have uh, a security uh, agreement within UNASUR. This is why we created the, the, the Consejo de Defensa of UNASUR, the Council of the Board of the, yeah, the Council of Defense of UNASUR, and to have a organization like NATO permeate the South American continent uh, when we know what NATO means, you know, basically a tool, a military tool of the United States is obviously bad news for the construction of, of sovereignty. I mean, I'm, I question NATO per se. I think it's an organization that belongs to the Cold War. It's been an organization that's been in the way of European sovereignty, for example, for Europe to have a sovereign foreign policy and, and, and defense policy. Uh, and, and that's in the case of Europe, which, uh, Europe, a much stronger institution. Now, you can imagine what that would mean for UNASUR, which is still in the kind of this slow process of being born, in fact, with a number of of facing a number of problems at the moment with six countries that are partially withdrawing. Anyway, so NATO, uh, Colombia being part of NATO, uh, a, a major, um, yeah, major defeat for those of us who defend uh, Latin American integration and Latin American sovereignty.